guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to specifically show you guys how to BIOS mod your RX 5700 or 5700 XT. And the reasons why I'm making this video again, I guess this is like an updated video, is because recently we've had an influx of people joining Discord as well as getting emails and PMs of people bricking their 5700s after BIOS modding. So also feel free to read in the description below. We've already gone ahead and typed out a whole how to in there you guys can just copy that paste that in a notepad or word document so for some of you that don't want to watch this video you can just read this instead okay so there's about 16 different steps here but I'm just gonna quickly show you guys in this video so let's go ahead I have my stock red devil which is on stock BIOS it's getting about 53 mega hash currently let me go ahead and close that so let's begin with step number one we have to go to Igor's lab to download the AMD VB flash tool which is the version 3.04 plus okay this one right here I know in the past some people and myself we have used 2.93 plus and it says here works only for RX 5700 and 5700 XT now don't be fooled by that some people we have found out that this version here is not very good and that's why some people have been breaking their cards so we've been using 3.04 plus and we've confirmed with a bunch of people as well as different RX 5700s out in the wild right now that version 3.04 plus is the best to use so go ahead go to mirror one we're gonna download it and you guys may get this message the site ahead it contains harmful programs click hide details and uh, visit this site go along we're gonna download AMD VB flash here and then let that download and then you guys may see that Google Chrome if you're using Google Chrome may block it so you have to go to show all and you have to keep the dangerous file okay next step we have to extract the AMD VB flash all right so you'll go to your downloads folder and most likely you guys will have your file go into your downloads folder unless you have it specified going somewhere else most likely not so right click AMD VB flash here we're gonna unzip it here I use 7-zip but specifically we are gonna extract it to the C drive all right so if you just go C drive and give it the AMD VB flash here. So I've taken out the underscore windows just so we can make it easier for us to BIOS mod. All right, so then you're going to hit OK. And so now we should see it on the main C drive, all right, when we do the BIOS modding, and that'll be much easier for us to do and hopefully easier for you guys as well. All right, so step number three, go into your AMD VB flash, and now we have to install the INST tool 64, okay? So it's this tool right here. We're going to right click it, run as administrator, click on yes, and it should be pretty fast. Basically what this does, it installs the AMD VB flash binaries and such. Okay, step number four, we simply have to go to your Windows search bar here, type in CMD, command prompt, you're gonna right click it, run as administrator, click on yes. And the next step we have to do is type in CD C AMD VB flash. So basically what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna go directly to the folder. All right, step number six is to type in AMD VB flash space dash I hit enter and what this is gonna do is basically just get the information of your GPU and which adapter it is so in this demonstration we only have one GPU plugged in right now and I definitely recommend BIOS modding one at a time there might be a chance of screwing something up and you may be flashing the wrong GPU with the wrong BIOS and if you have different brands different PIDs you know it makes all the difference so it's best to do one at a time okay so now the next step number seven we basically have to save the original BIOS and the reasons why we want to do this is the PID from what I've heard there's like a product ID or something associated to the GPU specifically so there could be potential different you know numbers associated and you know if you need to RMA your card there might be a chance where they might not honor your RMA because of the BIOS modding or the PIDs don't match so it's always best to save your original BIOS so what we're gonna type here is AMD VB flash space dash s and then zero and zero corresponds with the adapter that you guys can see here and then space and then we can type in whatever we want here but I'm just gonna call it original bios.rom and yeah it can be any name you like and then hit enter and then you guys will see it should save into the same folder as the AMD VB flash so yeah it just showed up right here so that is perfect okay so the next step we need to do is we need to download the red bios editor all right so the same page that we downloaded the flash tool 3.04 for Windows you need to download the red bios editor 
editor. So I've already done this already, and uh, you just have to install it really easy, and then you will see an icon on your desktop for Red BIOS Editor. Open up Red BIOS Editor. Now we need to click on Load. Okay, so we're gonna load up the original BIOS that we just downloaded. Okay, so that'll be on your C drive, AMD VB flash folder original bios.rom click on that now the next step we need to do is this is where we're going to essentially bios mod the gpu so i want to explain first that there are some 5700s that have two different memory types in the bios and some of them may have just one memory type so i've talked with a few people and there have been some of the 5700 brands the xts or non xts and there have been some with just one so keep in mind it doesn't matter because we're going to be doing the 1500 or 1550 ram timings and and below for each of these types here so if you have two we're gonna have to do it on the other one as well okay so basically I believe this is on uh, we're on step 10 now so now we're in the VRAM timings tab here and yeah all you have to do is highlight this 1550 RAM timing here and now we need to basically paste it into each of these ones here so you guys can see 1800 megahertz 2000 megahertz here we're going to paste it here 2250 we're also going to paste it on this one as well and now you guys can see those timings are now all specifically under each of these different megahertz numbers here okay now we need to hit save and I'm just going to call this modded one and you guys can call it whatever name that you like but you'll, you'll see in a second why I just call it modded one so we click save and uh, it'll save it into the same folder you guys can see there all right now we need to go ahead we need to load that one just to verify you know it actually changed so let's double click on that and uh, go back to VRAM timings and you guys can see it looks like it did copy over okay now we need to do that on the second memory type if you have that option there okay Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing, 1500 megahertz here, and we're just going to copy that on to the next one. So let's just quickly do that and show you guys what I mean. Okay, so that's it, and hit save, and we're going to call this modded number two. And there we go. So we can distinguish from the different uh, BIOSes there, and done. Okay, so I'm going to load that just to verify it changed on both. Okay, so yeah, that's good. And the second one, that is good as well. Okay, so now we're going to go on to step number 13. We're going to close Red BIOS Editor. And now we are going to go back to CMD here, Command Prompt. Okay, so if you closed it, then you'll have to open it up again, run as administrator, and uh, go back to C colon slash AMD VB flash. But I already have it up here still. So the next step, guys, is to basically put the BIOS back on to the GPU. You. So really easy. All we need to type is AMD VB flash dash P zero, which stands for that GPU and then modded two dot ROM and hit enter and it should start loading up onto the GPU and there we go restart system to complete the vBIOS update so that's it. I'm going to close everything here and we're going to give it a reboot and I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, so I just booted the rig back up. I'm trying Phoenix Miner and we're going to see what kind of mega hash we're going to get here after BIOS modding. And you guys can see 56 and 57 mega hash. So there you go. That's it. I've done the same overclock settings. I haven't changed anything. And yeah, we're getting about three to four mega hash more. Uh, than what we were getting before okay just by simply doing those 1500 ram timings so my friends that is it and yeah i just want to keep that short hopefully that was short and concise and hopefully more updated this time i forgot to mention that using gpu z to take out your bios is really bad so what we found out is that gpu z doesn't actually take all of the information from the bios out but using the amd vb flashway takes all of the information and it seems to work better that way so that's what we've concluded and the consensus was that you know gpu z we're not going to use that anymore for taking out the bios even though there are some articles online saying to do that and i mentioned doing that in another video way in the past it seems like some people were breaking their cards that way so if you guys have any other questions and concerns i will have another video talking about what we've learned so far for mining with 5700s i have actually a bunch of information that i want to portray but that'll be in, a, in another video uh, but anyways my friends let me know what you think and i appreciate you all have a good one and peace out